okay hello 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 good morning good afternoon good evening i don't know when you are listening to me maybe it can be morning or it can be afternoon maybe you are listening to me in the afternoon maybe you are listening to me in the morning or if you are watching me in the evening you know learning there's no time given for learning learning can be done at any given time now I'm Sir Collins and I'll be your mathematics facilitator. Okay, I'll be a mathematics facilitator of basic one to basic six. So take note, this is basic one mathematics. So uh, welcome to my class again. Now, so for now, I will thank everyone who has been there for me, supporting me. By the grace of God, I'm still alive. I'm okay. By the grace of God, I thank you for your support. And please, when you get this, okay, and get this video, kindly share because it, it, it will be a great honor to share to others, okay. And also visit my site, which I will leave on the link below this video, okay. That's where the class work will be so i'll take you through the site and the classwork okay okay now today let's look at the topic we'll be looking at uh we're learning our first topic in basic one is uh now everything has changed so we call it strand our first lesson as uh, a strand one okay it's number Number okay now under substrand we're looking at number under substrand we're looking at counting representation cardinality or end ordinality so this is in part we're looking at counting representation cardinality and ordinality okay then under content standard the content standard we're looking at describe numbers and the relationship between numbers 0 to 100 so basic one your limit is up to what 100 wouldn't go more than what 100 basic one that is your limit 100 okay so let's move on let's move on now under our indicators and examples looking at use number names counting sequences and how to count to find out how many okay so this isn't anything difficult so i'll go step by step so that you understand it okay step by step so you understand it okay now let's take the first example we are looking at counting by ones you have two ways here counting by ones forward Encounter by ones backwards. I hope you are okay. I repeat, counting by ones forward, and counting by ones right backwards. Okay, between two given numbers, between zero and what one hundred. And we also look at counting by twos forward and backwards, and counter by tens forward and backwards then we also look at how we can identify and correct errors or omissions in counting and skip counting sequences so for now we are taking it step by step that is how the seller about wants us to go by it okay step by step okay so let's let's go a little let's start now that's a chart i made for you so when you say counter by once forward it's just like counting the whole numbers from 0 to 100 so now I'm sure you can count by now you can count from 0 to 100 if you can't just follow me and let's see how you can count it you have 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 25 26 27 28 29 30 
31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, okay, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 98, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So that is how you can count from 0 to 100. Okay, now. So what are we looking at? We're looking at counter by ones forward. So when to count something by one forward, I give you a clue here. Let's take a clue here. Add one to the next number. Just like this one. When you add one to this, you get one. When you add one to the one, you get two. Okay. So let's take strokes for instance. When we take strokes, so let's add one to one. So we have stroke. Let's use this stroke. First stroke. Okay, I add first stroke, then another word, stroke, we add another stroke. Let's add another stroke. We are adding one to this one. So I add one to how many do we have there? One, I add two. Okay, so when you are counting by one forward, just add one to the next given number. One to the next given what? Number. Okay. So let's take example over there again. Let's look at the table. So let's see how do we complete this table? We have zero. What will be here? Okay, here will be what? One. We add one to the zero. If we add one to this zero. We are going to get what? One. Okay. Now add one to the one. What are we going to get? Two. Let's move on to the next one. Three. Move on to the next one. Four. Move on to the next one. Five. Move on to the next one. Six. So you can you saw that we, we met our seven here, right? Now let's go to the next one. We have eight. Add one to eight to give us what? Nine. Okay, add one to nine and you get what? Ten. Add one to ten, you get eleven, right? Add one to eleven, what are you going to get? Twelve. It's already there. Let's go to the next one. What are you going to get? Thirteen. Okay. Get the next one. Fourteen. Get the next one. 15, the next one, 16, next one, 17, it's already there, what do you have here, 18, okay, next one will be what, 19, so here we 19, 20, and on, and on, and on, and on, up to this stage, so here, what do you think will be here, that will be what, 55, okay, so, complete the rest, and, are good to go okay so i'm so college once again let's take the second example fill in the blanks by counting forward by ones what do you have here zero how do you think we here mm, okay let me ask could you, could you what will be there i know you are watching me call could you so what will be there mm, to be what one good so one what to be here after one we have two here two wasn't missing so here there's something missing here. What will be there? Hmm. If here, what will be there? Three. Eh? Very good. What will be here? What will be what? Four. Okay. So four. So you can also finish with this one. So let me finish this one with you. What will be here? That will be six. Okay. Six. What will be here? What will be here? Seven, okay. And what will be here? Nine. Sorry, nine. I'm sure you can complete this two examples. Okay. So that's the first lesson. So today, what did we do? Let's let me go through with you again. Then we look at how we can count by one's word forward. As counted by one for that's our first lesson. Then our first lesson we look at how we can count by ones but that's lesson one so we'll be following in that sequential order 
lesson by lesson this is the first lesson so in our next lesson we're looking at how you can count backwards by what once okay so this is forward that's going to be backwards so according to our syllabus we're supposed to know how to count forward and what backwards okay so you look at this table and follow this table when you're counting forward by what once four once okay okay so what is the clue add one to the next number okay so i'll see you in the second lesson but before then i have to know that you visit the link give it to you and you do your work okay there's an, a question there for you to do so you just visit the link and do the work there okay so let's look at the site here this site and visit the link you see this is our site professorgh.com okay we have gs questions remember these questions are based on only gs questions as our new curriculum questions we have the lesson also that we are i'm doing now as part of the lessons so it's also based on the new gs lessons okay so when you look at the question there is basic one mass basic one computing basic two mass basic two computing basic three mass basic three computing basic four mass basic four computing basic five mass basic five computing now basic six mass which is soon coming soon is six computing also coming soon so let's check out for basic one mass so there is it so when you visit the basic one mass portal or column all you need to do is just click on the question number so you read all the information given here okay so you read the information then you know what you have to do remember the questions follow in that sequential order according to the syllabus so question one follow in that order what i just taught you the questions are there okay so let's try it and see so here you see skip count for it by one that's the first question talking about so fill in the missing numbers by counting by four by ones so try this one and you try it then you also finish the table okay complete the table after that you compare the answers here there are answers there so you compare the answers there okay so you click on it to check whether what you did was correct so these are the answers okay these are the answers now don't forget to join our whatsapp group Okay, if you're in class one, still join the WhatsApp group. Let your parents join the WhatsApp group. Okay. Also, you can go back now. If you are done with the first question, please go back and follow the sequential. In fact, it follows in that sequential order. So go to the second question in that order. Okay. So I'll leave this link below the YouTube channel then and on the site as well. So that you're going to do it for me. So see you guys. God bless you all. Take care. And circle is out.